welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my overall experience while traveling in Sri Lanka. My husband and I spent 10 or 12 days there. We traveled by train, bus, tuk-tuk, we rented a scooter, and then we tried private taxis, like a private car from the hotel. And then we went from Colombo to Gull to Tangout, Udawalwe, Ella, Candy, Sagiria, and then back to Colombo. So a few people asked me some questions, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer those. I also want to quickly mention if you are from Sri Lanka or you are Sri Lankan, and anything that I say offends you, I'm truly sorry. I just wanted to share my overall experience while traveling through Sri Lanka because a lot of people were asking questions and I don't know about you, but if someone comes back from a country and just has a horrible time or has a great time, I would like to know to whether or not to consider going or not going. Pretty much, would I recommend Sri Lanka to a friend or family member? So let's go ahead and get started. These are not in any particular order. I'm just gonna go answer some questions and then go into my experience. So what are the prices of food? The prices of food was super, super cheap. Whether you're buying food at like a food market, at a food cart, like on the side of the road, or you go to a nicer restaurant, like I think our most expensive meal might have been like $20. So it's very, very cheap and you get a lot of food. The portions is just insane. So you're definitely, you will not go hungry. Um, food availability. Oh, I wrote this down because I wanted to mention how difficult it was to actually find food. There are a lot of places that you can buy fruit and like little snacks, but as far as a lot of restaurants serve food only at certain times. So if you try to have a late lunch or an early dinner, odds are you're not going to get very much luck. You're probably just going to find a restaurant that serves drinks and like small snacks, but not actual meals. And we were like walking around all Colombo trying to find a restaurant that would serve a full meal. And we ended up going to Burger King because that was literally the only thing that we could find other than the TGI Fridays. Were the public bathrooms clean? I was pretty much dehydrated the entire time because I was sweating so much. So I don't think I actually used any public bathrooms. Hold on, I'm really trying to think hard. Did I use a bathroom? Other than in the hotel. Oh, I used the bathroom one time in Candy, but it was in like a mall section. So it was very clean. It was just like, I don't know, a normal bathroom that you find in the US. Oh, I also checked out the the bathrooms on the trains and they weren't like a squat toilet it was they had an actual like seat um, was it clean I don't know how clean can a toilet be was it dirty I mean, it wasn't disgusting I've seen worse so hopefully that answers your question air quality I wrote this down as well because I was not expecting the air quality to be so bad. Some roads are paved, some roads are dirt. I think it mostly affected me by going on the trains and the buses and pretty much just transportation. Um, while walking through the towns, like it doesn't really affect you, but when you start going at high speeds and you get dust in the face and you get brake dust from the trains in the face, it was bad. I started coughing a lot around my fourth or fifth day in Sri Lanka and then on the eighth day, it hit me so bad. I remember we were at a restaurant and I just started coughing a lot because we took the train from Ella to Candy. It was just so much brake dust and so much dirt the entire time. It was also a really long train ride. I think just the overall, just continuous breathing it in the entire time, it started to affect me on day eight where I went to the bathroom and I just coughed and coughed and coughed until I felt better, like I felt like I could breathe. And I actually coughed up black dirt. I don't know if it was brake dust from the trains, I don't know if it was actual dirt, but I coughed up, threw up, whatever you wanna call it, but there was a good amount of black stuff. So if that tells you anything about the air quality, there you go. Also, besides the dirt and the brake dust from transportation, I don't know the trash disposal process of Sri Lanka, but everywhere we went, you will randomly see people burning their trash on the side of the roads. So you see tires burning, plastic, just normal day-to-day -day trash. Families have like their little own burn pile of trash and it could be at random days, at random times of the days. So it was just a lot of stuff going into the air. Were the people friendly? Everyone was friendly unless they were trying to sell you something or take you somewhere. Like the tuk-tuk drivers, they wanted your money. So they were like the fake friendly, 
bus drivers were nice because you know you get on the bus and they don't care um, people at the train stations like official workers they were all nice even like random people that we were trying to find directions to the nearest bus station or whatever everyone was super friendly did you feel safe yeah besides that one creepy guy that was literally following our every move I don't know if he was planning on jumping us, if he was trying to like lead us down to some alley. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what his deal was. He wasn't trying to sell us anything. He wasn't trying to take us anywhere, but he just followed our every move. My husband and I were like zigzagging back and forth across the road and he just wouldn't leave. And every time we say, hey, where are you going? And he's like, oh, this way. And then, okay, we go this way. He turns around and follows us. It's like, what the heck? But other than that, yes, felt safe. Would you recommend Sri Lanka to a solo female traveler? Um, yes. I didn't ever feel unsafe being a female, but if you are a solo female traveler, be prepared for the stairs. I knew because I read about it in a Sri Lanka Lonely Planet book that people like to stare just because, you know, you look different. You're white, uh, if you're especially if you're blonde, you're gonna be stared at but I didn't expect them to like stand three feet away from you while you're trying to take a picture and just stare at you. Not glance, but stare. Would you ever go back to Sri Lanka? Um, my husband and I kind of group our trips, our countries into, we would live there, we would visit again, or we kind of saw it, done everything, never return again. And Sri Lanka would kind of go into this category just because we did see quite a variety of things. Like we saw the temples, we saw the beaches, we saw the Seguria rock, we saw the elephants. So I feel like we did a lot and there's so many other countries in the world that I have higher on my kind of to see list. So I wouldn't choose to go back there over like somewhere I haven't been before, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. What's the best way to get around? Trains are the best way to go from point A to point B, fast, cheap, and if you're going a very long distance. Buses were good for like short distances, like within the town, but the best way to travel by comfort is obviously a private car. We took a car from Tangail to Uduwalawe, that was about a two hour drive and it cost $30 US. To me, that is the same price as taking an Uber from my house to the Miami airport, and that takes about an hour in traffic. It's definitely a lot more pricier than taking a bus or train, but there's AC, no traffic, and it's the most comfortable, so it just depends how you like to travel. Did you get special shots before going? i pretty sure I only got the flu shot, but that was just because I was due for it. What are the best beaches? The beaches south of Gaul, away from the city, where it's quieter and more local. Those were really nice, it was clean. It had a really long beach, but we didn't swim there, so I don't know how the current was. Where we stayed at in Tangel, the hotel that we were at was right on the beach. But we were told by the people at the hotel and the tuk tuk driver that took us to the hotel not to swim there because it had a really bad rip current so you can only swim in certain spots. What was your favorite thing about Sri Lanka? I really love seeing the elephants and also really liked how everywhere you went there's always a temple, there's always like Buddha statues so I just really like seeing that. I think they look really cool. What was your least favorite thing about Sri Lanka? The air quality. If I was able to breathe and I didn't get sick it would have been so much more fun but yeah the air. Is the water safe to drink? No. Bottled water is very easy to come by and is very cheap. Try to find a hotel that has a kettle in it so you can boil water and refill your water bottles just to, for the convenience factor. But yeah, don't drink the water. <sighs> okay, that is all the questions that I'm going to answer. So overall, my experience to kind of sum it up, you're gonna get stared at, but you never feel unsafe. The cleanliness level, pretty average like there's not piles of garbage in the street it's just like any big city like if you go to New York or LA you're gonna see trash on the ground so I can't say anything about that the biggest concern with cleanliness is how people burn their trash water easy to come by cheap food is great food is cheap food is large proportions very delicious oh a lot of people are asking buses and trains like the stations 
That was so easy. I was really worried about that because every time we go on a trip, we usually, we go to pick up a car. We have a way of getting from point A to point B. For our trip to Sri Lanka, I kind of just, we would wing it, but it was actually super, super simple. There was no language barrier at all. I don't think we had trouble talking to anyone. Cash is also very widely used. We use cash the majority of the time. Definitely have a lot of cash on you. A lot of small bills too, so you can break it when you're dealing with tuk-tuk drivers because sometimes they'll try to like claim, oh I don't have any change to give you, so you kind of just like SOL. Would I recommend Sri Lanka to a friend or family member? I would recommend it to someone who is used to traveling. I would definitely not say go to Sri Lanka as your first time ever out of the country because you're just gonna be shocked. Whew, that was a lot of talking. You have no idea how many times I had to refilm that because my brain was just not functioning well today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> okay. Really hope that I didn't offend anyone by saying the air was bad. But it, I mean, I coughed up black stuff.